Relief is at hand. I love the sound of chainsaws in the morning. It's the sound of progress. Professional tree crews are removing that giant tree that came down on the Blanco Lirio lot from the neighbor's lot next door. So essential services, thanks guys. All you folks that are out there working currently, essential services, thank you for getting out there and doing what needs to be done. It's Friday, March 20th. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel and big changes overnight. California, where this broadcast comes from, Northern California, we are under a stay at home order. It's not a lockdown as is so often misreported even on the Wall Street Journal. It's a stay at home order. What does that mean? It basically means stay at home. You're allowed to still go out and do essential needs like gas, groceries, and that sort of thing. But otherwise, just stay at home. It's not a lockdown. California being the fifth largest economy in the world, is going to be the leader of the rest of the United States, this, this stay-at-home order is probably coming to a state near you very soon. So stay-at-home order means you can still go, uh, what's still open are gas stations, pharmacies, food grocery stores, farmers markets, food banks, convenience stores, takeout and delivery restaurants, banks, laundromats, and laundry services. And then there's a whole list of essential services that are still out there working, like these tree cutting guys. So where did California get the data to come up with the stay-at-home order? Well, it's, we're not really sure. I'd like to see that data, but they're looking at the rates of change. And the problem is things are changing faster than we can keep up with. If you look at the John Hopkins global map, as of 9.13 this morning today, 255,000 cases worldwide, 10,444 deaths. In the United States, we're looking at currently 14,000, well it's growing, 14,322 cases, 210 deaths. In Italy, they were hit the hardest, 41,035 cases, 3,405 deaths. Folks are looking at the data from Italy and another case, South Korea, and trying to figure the road map out of this by picking the road in between. Over in South Korea, they had 8,652 cases and only 94 deaths by implementing stringent stay-at-home type orders or worse. Here in California, as of this morning, 1,041 cases and 19 deaths. So somewhere between those two lines of data, of those two curves, is where they're getting the, uh, the idea of what things to come in California might be. And what Governor Newsom, Governor Gavin Newsom is saying is out of our 40 million person population here in California, as many as 25 million could become infected with this current virus. So if you do the math on that, that's not good. I would be surprised if it grew that much. But then again, <laughs> I've been surprised by a lot of things uh, in the last couple of days here. Speaking of the last couple of days, or in the last 24 hours, uh, American Airlines has made it pretty official that they're parking 135 of their 150 wide body aircraft, and they're parking 300 of their 750 narrow body aircraft. So they're parking half of their fleet. I think personally, I have flown the last flight at American Airlines. I may very well move into a state of early retirement at American Airlines once this all blows over. The best thing for me to do is to stay on my LTD, my disability. Hopefully the FAA shuts down and loses my paperwork forever, but all that could change too if my number gets furloughed or if the company goes bankrupt. The federal government is issuing checks, looks like $1,200 per individual, your little mini bailout for everybody, $2,500 or so per family based on some in income limitations, and they pushed off the tax day from April 15th to July 15th. So more importantly, how are you doing? What are, are any of you, have any of you come down with the virus? Share your stories here in the comment section below. 
keep us posted how you're doing out there. We're gonna do a live feed here at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. That's, uh, what is that, 12 noon local Pacific time. I still haven't worked out the Zulu time on that. Over on Plane Savers, look at the link below. And we're, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna talk about you, the viewers of the Blanco Lirio channel. So come on over to Mikey McBrien's YouTube channel of Plane Savers this afternoon. It's not like we have anything else to do, <laughs> except cut firewood. And let's, let's talk about you, the, the viewers of the Blanco Lirio channel and how y'all came, came to, <laughs> how y'all came here. And it's, <laughs> your viewership. Your viewership means a lot to me, the entire family. Your support on Patreon has been outstanding. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. We'll see you here. Timber! Go get a chance to see how that mast looks here soon.